What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Operator Mastery. Today I'm going to be going over Mira, who was suggested in the past few episodes. So it leaves me no choice but to do Mira. I'm pretty excited actually to do Mira, so no shame there. Uh, we're going to go over everything from the best loadout to the best um, play strategies, um, play setups, because Mira requires a lot of setup time and on any map and you need to know how to set it up before you even hop into a Mira match. So this should be good for the beginners that don't know anything or just the more advanced people that want to know more about just some advanced more more advanced tricks I guess with Mira she can be super powerful a very powerful anchor so just just keep that in mind whenever you're playing Mira so for everyone that's new to the channel we go over just the loadout here the best loadout best class and why it's the best class and then we go down to a custom game and I just show you guys how I would set up the operator the, the specific operator and how we would play her this is not a montage I, I think a lot of people come to these and they just expect like a montage of Mira but that's not gonna make you better at all and that's kind of my goal here with this series if you want to watch gameplay series I have plenty of gameplay series coming up on this channel some starting this season some starting next season but you'll see if you want gameplays then I have that but this is not a montage by any means this is more of a educational commentary so with that out of the way let's get into the vector who which is the best gun the gun you should be using because you can do a lot of pre-firing with it with a fire rate of 1200 low damage but it makes up for it with the fire range or the fire rate and it doesn't take a long time to kill at all with the vector, I like to go with a holographic sight, a flash hider, and a vertical grip. And sometimes I rock a laser too. For uh, I don't know why I do, but it just feels really good with the vector. So any of those will work, and your laser is never going to get you killed because it's usually behind the mirror wall at all times. Also, if you're wondering, uh, I'm on an alt account. That's why I'm at level 48 and unranked. I'm going to be using this account for my upcoming series. and. I just got to get it up to level 50 uh, for next season so it can play ranked. Regardless though, flash hider, um, that's obvious. That's just because you usually stand up, do a quick burst, and then vertical grip is the only grip you can have. So obviously pick that. And then the laser sight is optional. Then you're going to want to go with the shotgun here. You can do any scope you would prefer. I would probably say reflex or hollow. Red dot just is not the best, but if you prefer it, then go for it. Then a laser sight for the shotgun because it makes the bullets a little tighter. Makes it easier to make rotation holes and make C4 holes for you and uh, then a nitro cell as your gadget because you are going to be throwing those over the bullet holes or the c4 holes and we'll get into like how to set those up and stuff in just a minute so let's hop into a custom match here so i can get going on a gameplay so this is one setup in particular on villa here games room and aviator room where this mira is uh super super powerful so wherever you decide to make your rotation hole wherever that might be um Let's just start off with uh, making a rotation hole because usually you're gonna have to make rotation holes with mirror, but this is just the idealist setup here with aviators and um, games room. So to start off, you always want to make sure that you leave the wall by you unreinforced, usually for pre-firing reasons. Second off, you put your mirror down right furthest as you can to the edge. And then you want to make holes above if you can. That's why I'm saying this is a perfect scenario because this has all of the above. And, uh, you know, you can do this, make this useful, and have C4 holes. So it's just like the perfect world, really. But then what makes it even better is you can come over here, put your other mirror down here, and then... Um, then you have cover fire for your mirror, so... You do the same thing with the C4s, the C4 holes, and pair this with a ADS and a bandit, then you have a pretty solid setup. Because if you have an ADS, they can't throw nades back over you, and if they have a bandit, they can't, um, you know, they can't Habana, or I guess ace now, your Habana, or your Miras. So that's always a good thing. So, the reason I put it on this side, even though you can technically get shot from here when you're crossing over, but usually you should have a play person playing each one, Whenever you're in a site like this where it's just a very big choke point, study is the most is the most entered through area whenever you're attacking. So usually people are going to come through um, study and try to push uh, into B from this way, or they're going to push through 90 from study. So you have a lot, you, you can guard a lot whenever you do this. And that's why uh, this is a really good setup and probably a really common setup that you've seen before. It's probably been done wrong though, because you want it done like this solely because Say they do have a Thatcher and they do have a Habana, the Thatcher gets the bandit charge, now a Habana pellets are all on this door. Normally, if it was right here, you would have to either shove your head out here and try to shoot them, but with this 
set up you can quite literally come here and then shoot off all of the pellets and then that mirror is good and then the same goes for the other way because this guy can watch your mirrors uh your mirror for habana charges or anything and the mirrors are going to stay up the entire round unless if they're twitched or shot from the back right so that's the power of having a good setup but uh, once if you have mirrors like this and um, it's all set up like this there's no way they enter through here so their whole attack is going to shift probably to the other side uh, most of the time it will shift shift all the way to the other side or shift to 90 through main stairs so now this is on lockdown you rotate back over say you're playing this mirror in specific now you don't really have to worry about the mirror anymore and you instead just switch and anchor down at bar because you are an anchor at the end of the day there should be no time with mirror that you are running away or running running around trying to get kills because um your gun your gun and your setup you are a one speed operator with a vector the vector is super good super super good so um for example pre-firing right pre-firing is so powerful with this and with the flash hider the recoil is not all that bad all right it's a little shaky towards the end of the mag and that's me just holding it down how i would any gun with good recoil it just starts getting horizontal a little bit as you get further away it's a close to mid-range gun that's why i say uh if you are going to be finding yourself in longer range scenarios for some reason a extended barrel would not be the worst idea because you will have um a quite a good opportunity to get some easier kills because the damage fall off lowers whenever you have uh extended barrel on so I want to be fair if I said that mirror was good for every single objective and there's a great setup like the one in aviator and games room right because there just is not you could still pick a mirror for Intel really but it's not anywhere near the same level as it is on that other uh, other site there but as long as you have a setup with your team and it's coordinated then you can do anything you really want to here and uh, put a mirror wherever you want a lot of people like to just put mirrors in the middle of walls like this and slap it down not specifically on this site I don't think mirrors are good at, uh, on every single site at all especially a site like this so um, so whenever you're whenever you're breaking something you probably want the wall to one of the sides to be reinforced because if this gets impacted this gets impacted uh, or ash charge Sophia charge you know anything like that any type of explosive then you can be exposed from this side and this side and you can't really guard it in this situation I mean bathroom can shoot you but over here I mean it's more safe but then again you have this way and then you have red so it's just not a good place for a mirror strat but I just figured I need to throw that in there before you just pick mirror on every single site because it's just not possible there's a lot of videos on YouTube that in specific that are just mirror strats just straight up mirror strats and they might give you a good idea of every single map of how to how to find a setup like the one over there for every single map they're not always that good and you won't always have them to the point where you can shoot the Habanas off the other ones but there will be good spots where they're actually more useful this one's not the end of the world right as long as your team's coordinated and they don't reinforce by you in both ways and you just have now a mirror randomly sitting here it's good for intel right you can ping out where people are you can know how many are in master but there's no kill potential right so that's the main thing that i look for when i see a mirror spot i want i want a place where i can actually play off of and use it for kills so that's that's my main thing and i just wanted to throw in this as well this is one of the tips that uh, some people just don't do with their mirrors for some reason this shotgun can break you know all around a mirror and you'll see before and afters but it'll it'll kill all that wood that's usually just sitting around i don't know why this part's not coming off but uh what in the world as you can see though when we come back over here now there's not that wood lining while this painting that is kind of glitched out onto the thing we'll just go to a different wall here just to show you i'm gonna come right here i'm gonna do this on the reinforcement and obviously wood's still on the other side so when you put your mirror down like so well just like this then uh the wood is going to be showing all around it and doesn't give you the best field of view meanwhile something like this i'll show you on this because uh oh there's another painting lovely but say i break around the whole thing takes a few shotgun slugs and um it's done pretty quickly and you should do this on every single mirror all the time whenever you're done putting your mirrors down you make your c4 holes always and then you shoot behind the mirror no matter what even if it's outside you want to like kind of peek, peek across because on border i mean mirror is a good good strategy on border and you should be coming out and you know doing this and just sh just shotgunning the metal no matter if it's inside or outside as long as it's you know reasonable you don't want to be running outside for 10 seconds to just 
get the wood around it but it does give you a actual competitive advantage on seeing around corners and uh as you can see right i have a way better field of view now that i shot that out it than before when the wood was all the way onto these right they were all on these little metal beams and now they're not so i have more view i can i can get tighter angles into into areas that i otherwise would not be able to and i have the c4 holes all set up where i could just come across and c4 all right so that's mira i love mira what a great operator but uh it's very situational not very situational but on my tier list if you haven't seen that it is i put it as good situationally for one reason one reason only is that every single thing requires you to actually have some mirror spots on the site that you are going to be playing mirror with some sites just aren't good with mirror and that's why i say she's good situationally if every single site had a good mirror spot she's absolutely meta on any of those sites so i think it's a site by site thing with her and plus uh mirror's just fun so i i think she's a must pick on some sites for sure and she's even a must ban on some maps that have mirror spots on almost every single thing so with that out of the way uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, hopefully you learned something new especially for the newer players i know mirror can be a little you know it seems really simple but then you just do nothing with it and then you realize okay i need some help with mirror because you need setups and you need to know just basic stuff like shooting around the mirror making c4 holes for your c4 and uh you know putting it in good spots so with that guys i will see you in the next one hopefully you enjoyed if you did enjoy leave a like i'd appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one